I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 308, where I'm going to show you how to filter on a specific value or return all values if blank or empty. I have here a model that has a list of regions and sales for those regions. And what I would like to do is I would like to apply a filter this, to this sales fact table and have it filter the region that I list here in this matrix. As you can see, I have some constrained input going on. So if I were to filter east, I want to see just the east region filtered here. I think that's fair, easy enough probably to do. However, if my region input over here is completely blank, I want it to show everything. So in order to do this, I'm going to do maybe a two-step process here. First off, I'm going to go to filter, and I'm going to write an expression. And I'm going to say, if region is equal to matrix 1 region. So this will evaluate as true or false, true or false. And wherever it is true, it will return it. So if I were to go ahead and put east in here, I have nothing but the east regions. Okay, if I were to put west, again, you see that I have west. But what if it's blank? How can I get it to return? Well, what I would like to do is I would also go to filter here and I would go to expression. And then I would like to add an additional uh, logical statement and simply say, or, and I put that in hashtags, right? Or if is blank, uh, matrix one, it doesn't allow you to autocomplete. Man, they ought to improve that region. If that is blank, I'm having a hard time today, I guess. If that is blank, then give me a 1. Otherwise, give me a 0, like so. So if I go ahead and I make that selection, and then I remove my west, you can see that it brings back everything. If I go ahead and I select south, again, it brings back everything. Again, if I remove it, or it only brought back the south, but if I remove it, then it brings back everything. So again, how did I do that? I used an expression with an or, and I said if region equals region that I'm on, go ahead and uh, give me a true statement. It evaluates the true, or if it's blank, then go ahead and give me a true. I also wonder if I even need this if here, and simply say is blank. And if I click OK on that, indeed, and I hit West here, you can see that it looks like I don't even need that second if in there because um, if it's blank, then it returns a true and all of these values come back. So again, central and it's filtered. So how you do that is just a kind of two uh, expressions within the expression matrix here, or two logical statements within, within the expression uh, dialog here off of filtering is how you can go ahead and filter on a specific value or return all values if it's blank. If you have any questions about Quantrix, you know what I want you to do? I want you to uh, send me an email at quantrixauthority at gmail.com and ask me that question because I want to answer your question. I want to help you become a Quantrix master in every way I can. So I hope that you'll answer, ask me a question. And then I hope you'll join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.